I am presenting a view of medicine to around the world. The Mr. X, a 62 year male, presented with fever for one month uh, with no other localizing symptoms. But he had history of headache but no uh, blurring of vision, no joint pains. There was loss of appetite. Uh, there is no loss. There is, was loss of weight is there but there was no loss of appetite. Past hist- otherwise, there is no other any localizing symptoms. There is a history of appendicectomy in 2010 and history of colostomy done in 2012. He is a chronic smoker. Uh, with uh, 0.25 pack years but on examination he was conscious oriented febrile with pulse rate 84 per minute regular normal volume blood pressure 130 by 70 with respiratory rate 18 uh, room saturation saturating well systemic examination unremarkable so the patient uh, with the classical uh, pyrex of unknown origin PUO for one month with no other localizing symptoms. So the differentiations we thought uh, extra pulmonary tuberculosis, HIV with opportunity infections or, or lymphomas or hematological solid organ, uh, malignancies, anchor vasculitis, pan uh, and sarcoidosis. So the investigations showed hemoglobin of 12 grams, total count 12,500. Uh, and this is C3, C4 normal, ANA is negative, uh, anchors are negative, BBS is negative, uh, TLS workup is negative, and CRP is alone high, 126, uh, which HBA1C no known, known quantities but found to be diabetic. But chest x ray doesn't show any hilar lymphadenopathy. Did bone marrow to look for any TB or malignancy, but bone marrow also seems to be normal. And so with this uh, workup, basic workup, uh, ankles and uh, autoimmune and BBVS uh, and all the workups came negative. So further because of this uh, primary workup, or we have because of uh, one month of year, we have ruled out all malaria and scrub, lepto, all things we have ruled out, but we didn't get any clue. So finally, we, even ultrasound abdominal so done results I didn't show any um, any clue so finally we decided to do a pet so in that uh, there is means can anyone what is this can anyone see this is a pet we have done so this is FDA pig uh, take up around the iotas so there is a in CT they have mentioned this thickening of the iota so I considered iota iota iotitis like vasculitis is picked up so after so, so the biopsy the pet CT reported so this is a is a huge like extensive involvement of the iota upper limb and the uh, descending iota wall thickening of the ascending iota arch of iota descending to acid iota entire abdominal wall uh, the but focal involvement of the right common iliac artery everything so suspecting large visual vasculitis involving the entire iota and right common iliac artery and by bilateral upper limb arteries so after this we have differentials come to like jain cell arteritis takayasu behesets kogans and infective arteritis but behesets he doesn't have any issue of oral or genital ulcers kogans he don't have any eye or ear symptoms Infective uh, secondary to infective endocarditis and salmonella syphilis, but uh, imaging features were not suggestive of them. No, uh, even echo, and we have further in uh, even the that one, no mycotic annulus. Multiple burger just came negative, even the VDRL and TPHA came negative. So further work we have done. Uh, so we have go went with uh, right temporal artery Doppler. That also doesn't show any evidence of temporal arteritis. But the biopsy showed the infiltrates. So suggestive of Jain cell arteritis. So even Jain cell arteritis. After that we went for CT angiography to look for any aneurysms and dilatation, stenosis, bleeding. But there is no suggestive of Takayasu arteritis. 
So just I want to take a note on the Jain cell arteries. It's a heart tone disease, also called as heart tone disease, cranial arteries, temporal arteries. Risk factors upon this patient age uh, more than 50 years. Uh, in the hypertension, not hypertension, thrombocytes also can cause. Um, it is associated with sometimes polymyalgia, rheumatica. Uh, these are two types like uh, cranial artery and large vessel Jain cell arteries. Typical features headache, jaw claudication, transient visual loss are the main characteristics features sometimes permanent visual loss in the major side effect of the Jain cell arteritis the large visual Jain cell arteritis what we have considered this so there is iota and its main proximal branches uh, especially in the upper limb also extremities involved so in this uh, sometimes they will have aneurysms, dissection of the iota and beatings. There is a study uh, in the uh, uh, BMJ study, they have done the uh, CT guided biopsy in a 40 patients and like the PET. So in that they showed like subclavian arteries also involved in 74 percentage, uh, thoracic iota 51 percentage. CT angiography they have done 40 percent patients who biopsy proven GCA found to have two third of patients uh, affecting the iota 65 percentage cephalic trunk 47 percentage, subclavian artery 42, femoral artery 30 percentage. So just to get the algorithm for the Jain cell arteritis, clinical suspicion of Jain cell arteritis, so uh, headache, jaw claudication, unexplained fever, anemia with a high ESR and CV, CRP. So evaluated temporal artery promptly with biopsy and color doppler ultrasonography. Uh, urgent ophthalmologic evaluation needed to look for uh, a transient monocular visual loss. If the uh, temporal artery biopsy is positive for GCA, we can diagnose like GCA, but it is a suspicion. Uh, so again, uh, <coughs> so evaluate for other symptoms. Is the additional temporal artery testing positive for GCA? So we can go with GCA. Uh, but is still there is a suspension. Uh, obtain imaging of the iota at first order branches. This is a large visual uh, vasculitis. So uh, the findings characteristic of large vessel uh, large vessel GCA. So di diagnosis uh, Jain cell arteritis. In the treatment wise. So there's a high dose glucocorticoid therapy without visual loss or diagnosis. We can give like methyl prednisolone 500 milligrams every three days, followed by 0.5 milligrams through so tapering days for 6 to 12 months. Then threatened and established visual loss uh, diagnosis means methyl pred 1 gram for three days, then 1 milligram uh, prednisolone like slowly tapering dose. But in uh, with we have to monitoring disease activity ESR CRP. If you relapse of the disease, again we can pulse them. Again we increase the prednisolone dose if patient not tolerating or having severe steroid side effects can use steroid sparing agents uh, the indications like glucocorticoid sparing agents if the presence of significant premorbid diseases and they're not tolerating to the glucocorticoids having cyanobacteria, uh, tocilizumab, methotrexase, ab ab abatizumab and injection plasmoid and some other drugs are there uh, but in our patient, uh, because there is an extensive uh, uh, involvement of the iota, we decided to, after the unit discussion, decided to pulse him with methyl pedin 1 gram, then start after that monthly uh, cyclophosphamide 1 gram, then tap prednisolone 1 milligram per kg, and his symptoms subsided well and became went home. The learning points approach to fever with no localizing symptoms, to approach diagnosis of GCA and management of GCA. So, uh, 70, I think that it is, uh, it's not mentioned, but CRP alone I can use, but. Uh, the <coughs> yeah, all pulses, like, uh, there is no pulse deficit or like, I'm not, like, all pulses are pulse, uh, there is no occlusion, no delay, no bruise, or no occlusion anywhere. He had mild headaches, uh, just, had fever and mild headache, not significant. It's only fever and loss of weight for one month. Uh, no, sir, no tenderness, no pal loss of pulsations.
is uh, having only some one week of headache after that is subsided ma'am but only one week headache only completed initial with the fever after that it, it also subsided outside he was evaluated with uh, images and all that was normal